since <clears throat> I did the restoration, seems like the instrument's been settling in a little bit more. And what happens because of all the tension of the instrument is that the neck <clears throat> gets pulled down sometimes, um, which makes, in turn, the strings a little higher than they should be. So, this is a pretty simple procedure. First, taking off the parchment, which is on the E string, to protect uh, the E string, which is very sharp, from cutting into the wood. <clears throat> and then, filing down to the proper height, a bridge jack is uh, almost the same idea as a car jack, which is we'll put them under the strings and proceed to lift the strings up to the point that you can pull the bridge out without releasing any of the tension or changing the position of the strings or anything. Taking off this parchment by just sliding the knife under there so now that the parchment is off, put the bridge back in its place. From upper bout to middle of bridge, 19.5 is where we want to be. Start with the E string because that holds the most tension and changing the height of the E string will change the overall tension more than the other strings. Measure. And we are about a quarter of a millimeter too high, which makes a huge difference. Make sure everything is straight and go straight down. Measure again. There's something that my father's teacher and my father has told me was measure a hundred times and cut once. And that is the golden rule. And now we do the same for the G string, which is the final string. Once again, take off the bridge. Take our standard template of a normal violin bridge, which has, as a matter of fact, been passed down from about three generations. Uh, so this is Sacconi's bridge template. Fernando Sacconi who is uh, the teacher of, of most of <clears throat> the most famous makers from New York at least and um, <clears throat> quite a few from Italy and, and uh, other regions. Compass and check each individual position. Cut the first notches with the knife. Finishing finally off again with the file. Make sure everything's even, nice, clean. Good old Italian nose grease, which as an oil, the human oil is probably the most perfect to work with and to finish wood. And if you see the difference, it's pretty incredible. And then basically just burnishing it. People do it in different ways. Fine tune the position of the bridge. So the final step in the process is taking the instrument and handing it over to the musician. Thank you very much. You can then try it out. <laughs> when the pros start playing it and uh, it's it's gonna be for sure. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> no problem. This is awesome. Awesome. <laughs>